hi you guys oh my goodness we haven't done one of these videos in forever but this is gonna be more of like a hair video part one so I braided my hair back you guys know I've been rocking my natural hair um, and I was rocking that halfway or half wig for a couple of days um, it was nice as the because my friend gave it to me obviously I want to put it to use but I love my natural hair but you guys <laughs> I'm gonna bring out an oldie but goodie and see if I can bring it back to life I'm okay in my description box the first thing that's going to be listed there is the video of when I made this wig it doesn't look like much of anything now I will say that this is a frontal. This is my first ever frontal. Oh, can I turn on the, let me see. Give me a second, y'all. Nope, I can't turn on the, um, what you call it, but that's okay. So this is my first ever, ever frontal wig. And I have an elastic band here. Now this is the Peerless Extensions. This is the raw Indian hair that I bought back, what, in 2014, 15? Yeah. And this is a frontal that I got to match it. Now, the frontal is steam processed, so it's not raw hair. Um, so the frontal done had it. It has had it, y'all. But y'all know me. I like to wear things till I can't wear it no more. Um, so it has, like, um, some gaps in here but it's towards the back of the front toe so i'm going to try to finesse it i'm going to use this tresemme shampoo this conditioner i'm going to try this as i mentioned the front toe is not it is not raw but I'm going to try this. I haven't even tried this on my natural hair. And then once I rinse all of that off, I'm going to put this on there. Not a lot, but just like a quarter size and rub it through. And my plan is to let it air dry. Now, in the past, I always used got to be glue. But recently, not recently, the last time I started wearing wigs, I wanted to... I wanted to get the ghost bond glue, but I'm like 20 something dollars. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> because if you guys know, when I have things on for too long, my skin starts to break out. So I didn't want to spend 20 bucks. So I ended up going to the beauty supply store and I got this. Mm, I don't know. Is this going to focus? Probably not. And I tried this before. Now I will say it is the reason why I'm even attempting to do this is because it's getting a little bit cooler during the evening time. Okay. Me and Lacey, Lacey, me and Luna, we actually were outside for two hours. I put down my picnic blanket bank blanket outside and we just sat. I brushed her and I just relaxed. She relaxed. It was just nice. Now, I will say today was a good day for me. My sister was like, Candace, get up, get dressed, and get out the house. So that's why I did some of those videos. Now, um, I do want to update you guys on some things. As of right now, I will be going back to work as of October 15th. I don't know what that is. Got a test message. So I will be going back to work as of October 15th. I'm not nervous. I'm kind of happy, you guys. Some things with my medication. So I am no longer on... So I'm no longer on Wellbutrin. I think you guys already knew that. But the other medicine he stopped me on was... Is this it? Give me a second. Not the Lexapro. Was it the Lexapro? 
Yeah, I think it was. Hold on. Give me a second. Oh, and you guys, you see back here. I don't know if you guys can even see. So I got my fan, but this is the uh, little filing cabinet I have. And yeah, you know what? It probably was Lexapro. For some reason, that doesn't sound right, though. Let me see something. Was it like it doesn't sound like it was Lexapro? Let me see something. Oh, that's what it was. So I haven't been on Lexapro for a while, but um, it was the Rimron. So before I was on, he put me on Rimron. Give me a second. Hopefully the lighting will be a little bit better. So I was on Rimron with the Trentilex. That was the new medicine he put me on um, as of a couple weeks ago. And I felt like I was doing better, but he took me off the Rimron because I was feeling so, I had so many different emotions going through me. Um, some of the things included me starting to feel emotions again. Like I extremely, extremely <laughs> miss my husband, miss my parents, both of my parents. And I knew, I know they're gone, but I never felt like, wow. Like, and I haven't felt this in a long time. So it seems like my emotions before were like, I don't know what weren't there. Like I wasn't feeling, you know, it's, it's kind of weird to explain, but I'm pretty sure y'all understand. Uh, so he took me off the rim run because at night, you guys know, I don't, in the past couple of videos, I let you guys know that I'm, last time I stepped, I'm only stepping on the scale every two weeks. The last time I stepped on, I was 254 pounds. The biggest, uh, biggest I've ever been. And I had to, I let him know, like, I'm, I'm starting to feel like I feel things differently. I feel like I know I'm huge. I feel uncomfortable in my body. And he was like, let's take you off the Rimron because the Rimron made me always feel hungry. After I took it, I feel like I had to eat um, before I went to sleep. Otherwise, I would be up tossing and turning. Um, so he took me off the Rimron. Trentilex for the three weeks that I was on it. Originally, I was only on 10 milligrams, but then once he took me off Rimron, I just started, he doubled up my Trentilex to 20 milligrams. It is one of those newer meds. I feel better, but you know, it takes a while for your body to adjust. I think it's been like two weeks, almost going on two weeks that I've been on the double dosage and off Rimron. And I will say that I toss and turn a lot if I don't take like my trazodone to help me fall asleep or melatonin. Um, also, I feel afraid to go out the house. Like, I don't want to go out the house. Like, I feel like this is not anxious or anxiety probably that probably is what you would call it i don't know but like the past couple of days i didn't want to do anything like i would do stuff inside the house but when i thought about leaving the house it made me kind of like worry um i'm always looking over my back especially when it gets nighttime i live in a good area no crime in my area everybody knows each other and I'm always turning around. Every little sound gets me. And he was like, well, I let him know that. I'm like, hey, now that I have increased the Trentilex and I'm off Rimron, these are the changes that I'm noticing. So for me to even be couponing today, it felt good to be out the house. I did have to push myself um, because I just feel comfortable being at home. I don't want to be... I don't have an issue with being around people, but it's just that initial like, oh my goodness, I'm going to be out in the world. <laughs> Whereas being at home, I was in my comfort zone. And he was like, you just have to work through it. And, you know, instead of walking Luna late at night, walk him with your son if it's late or before it hits dark, dark time, you know, when it's still a little bit light out, that's when you should walk her and then work your way up. And I'm like, true. 
But those are some things that I've been noticing. Um, you guys already know about my budgeting and my income. I will say today, though, has been successful. Today has been successful. I cashed out like $30 from my Ibotta account with the uh, second haul that I showed you and what I bought on my son's account. I bought an account. I cashed out $20 on there. And then with uh, Checkout 51, I was able to cash out $21.75, I believe. So yeah, I have like $73 <laughs> sitting in my PayPal account. But once again, obviously, I do have to pay back money. Like today, I used my Walmart uh, credit card, right? So that's like, what, 20-something bucks I have to put back on there. So it's not like free money, but it's a way that you can use a, a debit or credit card and just pay it back. And yeah, all of that being said, I am going to do this. I was thinking about, oh, Candace, put on some lashes and all this. I haven't done anything with myself, you know, in a while. I've been thinking about uh, going clothes shopping, but I'm going to hold off on that. You guys know. And my own maintenance, I had like $90 or $95. So I, I have been thinking about um, doing something with that. Um, but I'm going to hold off because I just don't know how my paychecks will be. So I'm hoping by my October 11th pay, paycheck, which will be the next one, I will have been back paid for like almost... Let's, let's say like a month and a half of pay. That's what I'm hoping for. So we'll see. And if I do, then basically all of that will be going towards, once I pay my regular bills off, I'm going to pay off my, um, my loan, my 401k loan. I want to pay that in full and whatever else I want to pay my Discover down because you guys know, Recently, I got two things fixed on my on my car. One was the obviously the most recent one was the transmission PN, which was like six hundred and something bucks after my re uh, after some credits, and then the other one was like seven hundred and something. So this has all been taking place while I've been out of work and without all of the extra pay. So my Discover credit card is back to like 8,800, you guys. And remember we were like low to like uh the low 7,000, you know. And I will I will say that I was doing a lot of I was doing like not a lot of eating out. But I was doing like Ibotta and then I would get the money back and versus me putting the money back into my credit card obviously with my pay and everything I had to fall back and not when I when I so when I got that money back I just put it in my checking account because I did not know what was going to happen so I'm just being more mindful of my situation but we shall see hopefully on the 11th you guys if I could pay if I could pay two thousand dollars two thousand dollars towards my discover credit card that would get me to a, like six thousand eight hundred dollars i will be happy i am not <laughs> going to be uh i don't believe i will be what do you call it i don't believe i will be debt free by the end of this year but I'm hoping that I can get get my my Discover credit card back to where it should be, where it should be like in the six thousands. It should be almost close to like five thousand now, but if I can get it down to six thousand right now, it's like eight thousand eight hundred and ninety something. Um, because of those car repairs, and remember, I don't have um an emergency fund anymore, so that's that. It's just a lot, um, but I'm doing well. And I was like, Candace, you know what? Get yourself together. <laughs> Get this wig together. I'm about to wash this hair, let it sit. And 
Woo! I'll come back tomorrow and we'll see how this all works out. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. And of course, here she is sleeping. Nope, you're not sleeping. Oh, there she go. <laughs> Bye, you guys.